another camp. There was little more heavens, heavens, this heaven. Syringe has traces of blood. Ha Harry asleep in his tent. Oh my, she's ha Harry. <sighs> Let's give it a try. a tattoo but it isn't those are my spots they've moved I really hope this works. <laughs> These patterns look too familiar. This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger. Trail of blood. Someone was hurt. Oh my goodness. And the gun barrel is empty. If he's behind that door, I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? Hmm, I wonder what this means. Constellations and stars. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. Shining constellation. I better draw it. Where is this door leading me? They carried these people here to test them. They carried these people here to test them. Like a challenge of some sort. Circular stones with these icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have in my hand. to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. What an odd structure, riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. 
Maybe it only hurts the first time. Ah! The second also hurts. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. Place is like a labyrinth. They were submerged in black ichor. Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. But I I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Oh, come on. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. Those stones, those stone statues seem... Hmm, I want... Hmm, I wonder what this... All these papers are... All these papers are... I think I can feel the agony of the slaves, their suffering, and the effects of the black and white figures. Good doggies, or dragons, whatever you are. Again? Seriously?
That's the creature. That's the creature. All the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? I can feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here. I can feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. Was that a vision to another world? The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. Goliath. 
There's something written on the floor. What a disturbing mirror. Is it made of... Black Icor? I... I feel like it is... It's speaking to me. Oh, heavens! here appears to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock. wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? Why? What really happened? The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Because Cassandra was ambitious and would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. You had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Dignity, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island. The same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. 
So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me. So I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. A whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do. But I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you, to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. Lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was from here. This key just appeared out of the blue. seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the i -Corp. Connected with the Elder God.
Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. All my life is empty Since I went away Skies don't seem to be so clear May some angel sentry Guard you while I stray And fate be kind to join us some sweet day I love you, Nora. And I love you, Harry. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. Thank you. 